Today I want to talk to you about pickups. I love working with the Nordstrom pickups that I use in all my bases. I use quite a variety though. Um, and while I'm not at all a, you know, sort of a technical technician kind of guy that knows about the electronics in a base, I sure know the sound of the different pickups and, you know, and what they produce. Now, what's hard about it, though, when you start discussing sound and pickups, it's, you know, it's so subjective. It's very much like saying, sing me a piano, a pianissimo, pianissa or say, say, sing me a mezzo forte. And I go, la, and then you say the next person to sing it, and they might have a different version of it. <laughs> you know, almost like a, what's the color orange? Some people see different shades of it. Well, let's just start with the basics here, though. Here, I use... Um, the NP4, it's called. These are Nordstrom. I'll put some close-up pictures. And these are what I would call my most standard P pickups. NP4, as I mentioned. Actually, these are NP4A3, the Alninko 3. And I like this sound a lot. And I would describe this as being real, sort of, like I said, sort of normal, sort of standard. It's got a very solid punch to it, good mids, and a real warm singing uh, upper register. I like those a lot, and, and what's interesting is I'll, I'll, I'll start seeing back in some of the bases, I'll experiment with some of the other pickups, and I'll go back to these, and I'll go, oh my god, I like these. <laughs> they're just a real standard, strong sounding pickup, and they're high quality. And Nordstrom's pickups are very consistent, is one of the reasons I like to use them. Now moving on from that a little bit, is I've become a real fan of the blades. What's the number on this? They just say power blade <laughs> for, yeah. I love these blade pickups, and as they the name implies, plot power blade. They're very strong, very strong, real present, and I can't say that they sound better, but different. But boy, they have an application in certain bases, or maybe more particularly for certain players. This is the pickup, and that's what I like to do, is I like to put together a bass with a player in mind who's asked me about it or wants it, and, and I sort of know what they like to hear. And the blades are killer. If you haven't used them, try them out. Of course, uh, um, the blades come in J pickups also, and they're just marvelous. And what do they say again? Just uh, uh, B, J for uh, B, again, blade, 4. And by the way, these are these come in different, a couple of different, uh, I don't know, sort of makes, I guess. These are the WW. I think the Country Western. No, I'm just joking. They're like a wet and woolly or a warm and warm and woolly sound. They make a CC clean and clear. That's why we were called them Country Western because they were, you know, sort of the same as far as the numbers are concerned, the alphabet letters. But uh, these are uh, the warm and woolly ones, and I like these a lot. I've used these in a number of the bases, and they're outstanding. Um, here's just the traditional. J pickup I use is the NJ4, and again it's like the like the NP4 for the precision. This is just a real standard sort of a sound. This is not the vintage wind, but boy, it's got a real solid what what we think of as a P sound, kind of fat and warm, but yet solid. Well, the same thing for this J bass. It's uh, got plenty of highs, plenty of crispness, but it's got a lot of that nice growl to it and just real straight ahead. As opposed to you move into that. Uh, uh, blade pickup and now we've got a lot wilder, more crisper, sort of bitier sound. Then we can go one step further in the uh, P pickups and these are the MP4A, A3. I call them the one with the little angled pickups because they do, not pickups, poles. The little poles aren't sitting straight, they're sitting on an angle. And oh my goodness are these special. These are the A3, uh, Elninko 3. My goodness, they have a how would I describe it? I described it once as when I play it, I swear there's more than one sound coming. I don't want to say it's like this, but almost like a chorus effect. There's just like, whoa, there's a lot of sound. It seems to cover a wider area. And they're very strong. And I've used these for a couple of players that wanted to purchase an instrument. And I put them in there. I knew the sound they like, and they absolutely freaked over them. Now, I'll tell you, I've been having an interesting uh, application for these also, combined with this pickup which has the uh, staggered poles. It's the BSP4B35. It's uh, that shape of that EMG35. This combination in my PJ setups, oh my goodness, has this been just fantastic. I swear, these combinations together in that PJ offer probably the 
the largest spectrum, widest spectrum of sound possibility. And don't just, don't just mean high and lows, I mean sort of a timbres, if you will. You know how on your uh, J bass, because you use that control, it goes between the two different pickups, and it doesn't just change the tone, but it sort of changes the timbre? Well, these uh, combination right here, this combination, is just a freaking knockout. So for me, I simply simplify it and say it. It's the staggered pulled ones up front, the staggered pulled ones in the back. Stu recommended these uh, from Nordstrom Inn. By goodness, this is it. I love them. So that's just a little quick overview. I sure invite you to uh, go to my uh, um, Real Bass Lesson site and look at all the different bass demos I have because I outline specific which pickup is in which bass and that way you can hear some of those characteristics. Again, talking about it is is somewhat uh, arbitrary. It's, uh, you know, is this brown or is this uh, dark brown or is this light brown or whatever. And that's that's kind of hard, but that's just a little overview for you. Love these Nordstrom pickups.